Hey guys, Chris Super here. Today we're going to be looking at some ninth arpeggios using hybrid picking. Let's take a look. Okay, so as the name suggests, we are working with uh, minor ninth arpeggios. So the first arpeggio I'm working with the C minor nine, I have a root note being C, a minor third, which is the E flat, that is a fifth, which is a G, the minor seven is the B flat, the minor nine is the D, and then I actually am on the octave above the minor third. So I guess you could think of that as the 10th or the third again. So all together, I've got this. That's kind of how we're going to formulate in most of these arpeggios. So I've got the uh, the C minor 9, the A minor 9 with the same formation, which is going A, C, E, G, B, and then the C again. And then from there I go into the F major 9. So I'm going F, A, what's that, a C, E, and the major 9 is a G. And then I've got the minor 3rd again, which is... I got there an A. So as you can see, they've all kind of got a similar idea. And then the last thing that I've got is um, an E dominant with a flat nine. It kind of falls into a harmonic minor kind of idea. So it's got the uh, the E seven with the flat nine, and then the high the high G sharp for the major third. So. Let's talk about how we're going to play that and add that interesting hybrid picking idea. So the main gag that I have with this is I'll have two notes that I'll, two strings that I'll play with the pick. So I've got the hammer on from eight to 11 on the sixth string. Then I'm playing 10 of the fifth. Then I hybrid pick the, uh, the fourth string. Uh, I'm using my ring finger because I've got my dainty Sri Lankan hands that I unfortunately inherited. I've got the tiny, I'm doing the ring there, you can use your middle if you like. And then when I go to this, you'll notice that I'm kind of building the whole thing in four note groupings. So I'm going to return back to the 11. I'm going to play almost what looks like an E flat major seven, but that's kind of just uh, joining in from that minor nine inference there. So I've got, so that's going 11, 10, and then I have it from eight to 12 on the fourth string. Once again, that's where I'm adding in my hybrid pick. From that point, so when I go through that, I'm going to return down the arpeggio by playing 8 of the 3rd string, I'm plucking 12 to 8 on the 4th string, and then playing 10 of the 5th, and then I'm going to call once again on the hybrid pick. So there should be 3 hybrid picks in total. After that hybrid pick pull off, go from 12 to 8. I'm going from that 10 of the fifth string to 11 of the sixth string, and that's the whole first shape. Then I go to the A and do the exact same thing. So all I'm doing is literally cut up and pasting that idea for this shape. Okay. So if we can fast forward to the next one now, so the first two are quite predictable and there is a bit of a modulation in that pattern. I just uh, had a hankering to do um, two minor shapes in a row. I don't know why, it just felt sassy. Uh, then I go to the F major nine idea. So what I'm doing here is I'm hammering from eight to 12 on the fifth string and I'm playing 10 of the fourth. Then I'm hybrid picking the nine to 12 hammer on on the third string. So I've got, actually I'm not hammering on yet. I'm adding in the hybrid pick. Then I go back to 12 with the fifth string. I'm going to play the 12, 10, 9 again. Then add that hammer on. So of the F major 9 arpeggio, we should have hybrid, hammer on with the hammer on, hammer on with the hybrid. And then from that point, so what I've got here is I'm playing 10 of the second string and then pulling off 12, 9 on the third string and then playing 10 of the fourth. And then going back to that hybrid. All together. Hope 
hopefully that's all making sense. And you will notice that I'm just doing uh, each arpeggio twice for good measure. All we need to do now is add in uh, that E dominant flat nine and we are in business. So let's add that last one. Let's have a look at the shape I'm dealing with. And then we'll add that pattern to it. So I'm going seven, 11 on the fifth, nine on the fourth, seven to 10 on the third, which is giving us that diminished or flat 90 vibe. And then that will go, the highest note in that phrase is the G sharp on nine of the second string. So this is gonna be our first little idea. Let's slow that down. I'm hammering seven to 11 on the fifth, playing nine of the fourth, and then hybrid picking that seven of the third. And I'm gonna repeat it from the 11 of the fifth, but hammer on to 10 of the third string with the hybrid pick. Hybrid, hybrid. And from that point, what I've got here is I'm playing nine of the second string, pulling off from 10 to seven on the third, resolving that to nine of the fourth. And then once again, when we're doing that quick backtrack, I'm hitting that hybrid pick note again. So we've got. And that will go through twice. Okay, so let's try the whole thing again from the start at a gentleman's pace, and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. time with some tabs. And that was my ninth arpeggio hybrid pick exercise. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you want tabs to this lesson and anything else that I've done, please sign up with the mailing list. There's heaps of cool stuff like tabs, offers on my books and video courses, uh, lessons, other kind of things that you won't get if you are not in the loop. So check that out. Also have multiple books out at the moment. The most recent one being Drop Tuned Riff Writing, which, which I created to help you guys get a little bit more creative with your riff writing, chord voicing, uh, places to go if you're getting a little bit stuck and stale in your songwriting. Also have multiple video courses out now on Udemy. There will be a bunch on Skillshare soon and on chrisuper.com. So if you want to check those out, that would be rad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and I will catch you all for some more content very soon.